done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. I've got your back. I will remain on guard here. And so we meet again. But this time, I know who and what you really are. I never thought I'd ever willingly stand in the same room with Tullius again. At least not without a weapon in my hand. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Ismir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that. Thalmor, bitch. I say she walks, or we walk. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? One moment. Here we go. 
I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial Justice. Master Arngir, are We are here to, to arrange a temporary to truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the Dragons, nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. Enough posturing, Tolius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? General Tullius, Jarl Ulfric, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. By Talos, the stones on this one. You're in no position to dictate terms to us, Tullius. That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. Ulfric, you can't be taking this demand seriously. We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. Besides, your no, Layla will never we agree will do whatever to... I decide is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? Yes, my lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I am sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Rift and Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye, we haven't forgotten Markarth, Tullius. But I accept the Dragonborn's invitation to this council, and I at least will negotiate in good faith. The council was your idea, huh? So tell us, what do you think Riften is worth? exchange for Riften, the jewel of Skyrim? Hardly. How about the Reach? Gaining control of the Silver Lines would be invaluable. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. You heard the man, Talius. We've made you a fair offer. If you're really serious about this truce, you need to reconsider. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation to this council, despite your known association with the rebels. But it seems you have no intention of dealing fairly with me. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. You have no intention of coming to terms. You're here to blacken the Empire's name, and I won't be party to it. If you think you can hold Riften, you're as deluded as you've always been. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? 
I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This for is your our fault, Antolius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Out with it, then. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? As I expected, you favor your friends. Come on, Ulfric, you have to give a little ground here. The dragons are a threat to us both. Damn Imperial arrogance. I'm listening. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial control, Jarl Leila Lorgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Empire will withdraw its troops from the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Makar. Jarl Igmund will go into exile, with Thongor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Makar. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Now that the Empire has been driven from the Reach, we can put a stop to the raping of her silver mines. That silver belongs in Skyrim. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. This is quite an achievement, Dragonborn. And General Tullius. Riften is ours. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, 
I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? By calling the dragon with the foil, he's not compelled to. Your what I think it's very likely that he... Ah, the Odavi, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truce gives you what you need. It won't last. I don't know why you I'm afraid there's a trouble. So much. A serious that one. Murderer will I've never discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. You'd better be able to deliver, Dragonborn. I sacrificed a lot here today. 